Major asteroid impacts have played a big role in the evolution of life on Earth and in the dinosaurs' mass extinction. Yet even today, smaller scale asteroids hit the Earth every few decades, sometimes causing significant damage and even injury. Understanding better the surface and internal structure of asteroids is crucial in improving deflection technologies to set them off a collision course. This is one of the main objectives of AIM, ESA's Asteroid Deflection Precursor Mission. AIM's main objective is to test how we could protect ourselves from an asteroid impact that could potentially threaten Earth. It will investigate a double asteroid to better understand the properties of asteroids with a view to avoiding a potential impact. If it gets the green light, AIM will be launched in late 2020 on a Soyuz rocket and travel 11 million kilometers into space until it reaches Didymos, a relatively small asteroid orbited by Didy Moon. This smaller moon is AIM's focus. AIM will rendezvous with the asteroid Didymos in, uh, in June 2022. The first thing it will do is to take high resolution images so that we can reconstruct a 3D shape of the moon and then we will use this data to test a new optical communication system with a laser transmitting these images down to Earth. After we do these measurements, we will sound the interior structure of the asteroid by deploying a small microlander on its surface that will emit the small radio waves that will be captured by AIM and reconstruct the interior structure. Once the final measurements have been taken, AIM will move to a safe distance to observe the impact of DART the NASA-built asteroid impactor, which coupled with AIM, forms the basis of the larger Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment mission. By measuring Diddy Moon's physical properties and its orbit before and after DART's impact, scientists will gain valuable knowledge that can be applied to a real threat should it ever occur. In addition, scientists will learn how these double celestial bodies form, answering fundamental questions on the formation of the solar system. AIM is the first mission to test uh, the kinetic impact uh, deflection uh, technique. It's the first mission that will prove deep space optical communication systems. And it's the first mission to deploy CubeSats in this space and uh, test intersatellite uh, communication systems. Also will be the first mission to rendezvous with a binary asteroid and characterize it. That's a lot of first for a single mission. If the AIM design meets the approval of ESA's member states, engineers could start making the spacecraft's hardware and payload by the end of next year to be ready for launch in 2020.